Is the door to Iron Man totally closed? Because I don't believe it is. Every day, the reset button, the space bar gets pressed, and it's like, now what? Yeah. The reset button. You kind of have to have a confidence to jump into some of the roles that you've taken, though. That thing that you're wearing around your neck. Yes. Being as you are obviously known as being Iron Man, are you concerned with wearing a large thing in the exact (laughs) same spot? Life is funny, because I was doing this before I ever got fitted for the RT. So it was more of uh, art imitating oddball stuff I was doing anyway. Even more interesting, because maybe you were born to be Iron Man, because Iron Man obviously had that. Loosely prearranged destiny. Mm. And what's incredible is how far afield you can go from it and still find your way back. This concept of things just sort of falling into place. I'm a big believer in that, too. Yeah. What, what is that, though? Is that you getting out of your own way like what what is that is it isn't that 70 percent of it yeah yeah i'd say it's 70 percent maintenance of what can i do to do my part to stay out of the way and then the other part i always think of it as like this little super thin invisible thread but you can feel the tug and you just kind of you have to be really gentle and you have to pause when agitated and you have to go for it when you're going to like, there's four walls in here. Which one has the map behind it? You, it's that one. And you knock down the wall and it's there. Yeah, what is that, though? That's a... Synchronicity? Yeah. Uh, intuition? I don't know. And I really feel, it's so funny, at this point in my life and being kind of middle-aged and all that, well, I know I'm going to fly around the world and I'm going to sell some soap. And I know I have a new project and I know I've just retired my jersey on this 12-year journey I've been on. And how do I want to start? And, and it came up, how would you like it? I go, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go have the Joe Rogan experience and kick off this year and this season and this new chapter by doing what I love. I think part of the reason I'm still so interested, not just in life, but also getting to do what I do, is I'm a fan. I love movies. I love creativity. I love music. I love I love culture and the fact that I actually have a place in it while I'm observing it and digging it is like it's 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 an honor is the door to Iron Man totally closed because I don't believe it is I love you as Iron Man so I would if you if they opened up this time machine and you popped out I just imagine the moment where everybody goes crazy it would be amazing it would be great I would love that but I would also love you hanging it up I feel like we all just get buffeted by feelings and ego or fears or little chips of resentments or intuitions that are tied to something maybe higher but you think is out of your reach or whatever so I need to be kept right sized because I can easily fall into self-seeking and depression and self-pity and judgment and, and all that stuff it's kind of a it's a bit of a default but I spend enough energy and I've, I've had enough help over enough years to actually just say oh that's that's just awful destructive behavior you're entertaining in your Mm. head if i'm noticing anything now it's that it's that we need to shift and we need new challenges and just like in society and politics things are moving and, and morphing and the information age is making things so everything's learning and growing from everything so quickly and then improving or disproving or discounting whatever's happening next but for me it's just incredible our culture never encourages taking a break never encourages saying don't chase that thing because you've got it in your hands and 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 I love the idea that if you're good at what you do then it's not about time it's about it doesn't matter when you decide to pick up the mantle again it's just about but it's scary isn't it so confidence there's been times when I felt I'm in possession of it and then you want to let go a little bit because it's only ever the moment and life guiding you the wind is so at your back that you're like wow are you just jumping over the waves and all that by yourself and you're like you bet I am but there's a physics to the moment man moment machine whatever and the winds at your back and then the wind does what the wind does and it changes and if you're left there thinking what I think it's great to be in full possession of what you would call supreme confidence see what happens if you don't hold on to it so hard because it's great 
but it is a bit of an illusion because like everything else, it's always changing. Always know what your action is because then when you come in in the morning confident or when you come in in the morning and you can't hit your ass with both hands, you know what to do. Just boil down what it is you're doing, whether there's a camera around or just what am I doing today. Today I'm, I'm showing up and I'm trying to be honest and, and also to listen and learn but really my action today is I'm beginning a process of promotion. You actually take comfort in the fact that your eyesight is starting to dwindle? You wanna chase it, but what I appreciate is you know where you're at by what you're able to retain if you fight for it and the things that are going no matter what you do. And sometimes it's about, I don't need to try to use something to hold on to everything. I wanna pick the five or seven things that I definitely wanna hold on to, and I wanna watch the rest of it go in and out with the tides.